Okay, we continue on the section 15.4. So last time we solved the equation for the script p function and using the series method and show that uh, the series truncate, so we identify that as a polynomial. And so last time we figured that PLM will be of the the highest uh, power in x will be uh, of the order x to the l minus m and plus all the lower order in uh, in x okay and so and remember that uh, the original Legenda polynomial, so the original Legenda polynomial PL will be of the order of x to the L plus lower order. Okay, so this suggests that uh, suggests us that maybe we can get uh, the script P by the Legenda polynomial by taking derivative. If we take m derivatives of x of the Legenda polynomial, we'll get a polynomial of x to the l minus m power. So that's what we'll try to do. We'll try to consider a um, m of all the derivatives. So in the text we call it u. So like this is ddx to the m power operate on pl and see what um, equation is satisfied and hopefully. Uh, we will see that this satisfies exactly the same equation like here. And to do that, uh, first we write down the gender equation for P, P sub L. So uh, the gender equation is the same as this equation except for M equals 0. So the equation is uh, 1 minus x squared P sub L double derivative minus 2x pl pi plus l times l plus 1 pl equals to 0. So that's the ori original Legenda equation. So what we now what we'll do is to operate the m times of the m derivative of the whole equation. So, and to do that, uh, we will use the Leibniz formula because there's a part, there's a product of this one minus x squared and this second derivative, and likewise there's a factor x times this one. So we will use the Leibniz formula. Okay. So if we apply it. Uh, this m derivative of, of this factor. So there will be three terms, and we did something like that before. So the first term will be operate the zero derivative of this, this one. So this will be 1 minus x squared. Um, and then the m derivative of this one, but you already have two more derivatives. So it is d d x to the m plus 2 and operate on PL, okay? And then the next one is the first derivative of this one. And then uh, because we operate on M, so it's the first derivative of this, and, f and then the M minus one derivative of this one and multiply by the coefficient which is just m so plus m times minus 2x so minus 2mx okay and then uh, ddx so m minus 1 and then 2 more power is m plus 1 pl okay so the second term for this one and the third term will be taking the 
second derivative of this one and the m minus 2 derivative of this one multiplied by the uh, coefficient now is uh, m times m minus 1 divided by 2 and the derivative of has uh, it's just second derivative is taking another derivative of this one which will give uh, minus 2 minus 2 m um, uh, it's just a minus 2 because this is the coefficient so minus 2 and so and the 2 divide get which of the 2 with the m times m minus 1 divided by 2 so you have minus m times m minus 1 okay and then d dx to the power m dl okay so all this is coming from taking m derivative of this term now the next one is taking m derivative of the this the middle term so again there are, for this one there are only two terms so the first first one is minus 2x and then m derivative of this one and then uh, the first derivative of this one multiplied by the coefficient and the m minus 1 derivative of this one and that is the only two terms because uh, the next term the derivative will be zero okay and then this term um, this just operate m derivatives on pl that equals to zero okay now we can try to simplify that by using this definition so this 1 minus x square this becomes 1 minus x square and u and double pi because you have two more derivatives okay and now this one and this one can be grouped together because they are of the same form you have minus 2 your m and 1 is m plus 1 so minus 2 times m plus 1 x times the first derivative of u u prime okay and now you have uh, the next term will be uh, uh, Oh, this one have have no x. This is a sec. This is this is the second derivative. Of, uh, the, no, this is the first derivative of that. So we get rid of the x. So no x here. Okay. So this one adding to to this one. So all together, uh, you have uh, you have minus m square plus m minus 2m so it's um, so this is minus m square minus m and this term is just, this term is just both proportional to u so you add those together l times l plus 1 minus m square and minus m just combining that so minus m times m plus 1 times u equals to zero okay so you see that this is uh, this is the same as this equation so you should so it means that this satisfy this equation which means that the, this script p lm is proportional to this one so by convention we define script p Lm x is we multiply by a minus one to the m power. This is just by convention and times the derivative dx to the m power. 
is the gender polynomial. Okay, and this derivation apply for positive m, of course, because we're taking m derivatives. Um, but later on, we'll uh, generalize that to a negative m. Okay, and so by the original definition, the legend associate Legendre function plm x will be equals to 1 minus x squared the power m over 2 times script plm so we multiply this x the power m plx okay so now we get uh, a method using the Legendre polynomial to get all uh, different uh, associate legend function with uh, L uh, greater or equal to M. So for all the M up to L, you can use this formula to calculate uh, all the PLM.